Hi Christine, I can see you. I will invite you in in one second. I've got an amazing guest today, Christine Marsh. She's an international speaker. I'm just getting her into the broadcast, so we'll fiddle around for a little bit. It is saying adding in, Christine, so let's just bear with it a little bit. Hope everyone's having an amazing evening. It's been a lovely day today. Just trying to get Christine into the broadcast. We have just done a test and it did work. So let's keep on trying, hey? Saying adding now, Christine. Christine, if you could just make a comment for me. We'll keep on trying. This is what we did. Saying adding in, Christine, we just seem to be having a few difficulties with your signal, I think. The joy is of Facebook Live, hey? Saying declined again. Let's try once more for you. Doesn't want to play, Christine. Saying adding, so I'm just going to bear with it. Hi, Kieran. Hi, Hi Christine. We're there, Christine. Can Sorry about me? the delay. I think it might just be the signal. So I'm interviewing Christine today. She's an international speaker. And I'm really excited to in interview you, Christine. She's such a lovely lady with a kind heart. We've become really good friends. And I'm really excited to interview you today. So, Christine, can you share your story with us into international speaking? Well, Mark, firstly, thank you for your patience and the curse of technology we have beaten, which I think is all about life. And as speakers, we have to keep that flexibility. I'm sure you will agree that uh, we can be brilliant, you can be brilliant, but technology is a devil. Anyway, uh, speaking, did I ever see myself as a speaker? No, 
the main thing was that um, I got into a very difficult situation where my husband was made redundant. And one of the ways out of that was for me to start earning some money as well when he started work. And we got involved in something called pyramid marketing way back in the 70s. They had the best motivational speakers on the planet. You could not get out of that room without having signed up and taken out a second mortgage. It was that kind of commitment. The main thing was that I actually found I could sell. And the stories that I've got, Mark, of how do you make use of that hour, that one and a half hour? Because you have to do something in order to get a return. Chase carpet cleaning vans, um, go into gents' toilets in an engineering firm. It's really beginning to collect your portfolio stories of how you overcome adversity. And I think when we're looking at people, how can we help them, I think comes from our own experience. Otherwise, just send me a DVD. You know, you can send me any plastic bit there that sounds wonderful, but there's no heartbeat to it. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Definitely so the we, bit about we, stories and helping people. That's great advice, Christine. Well, the main thing was is that I started to help because people said, well, you're selling it and we're having difficulty. Come and tell us how you do it. So I didn't see that me being a speaker. I saw me being a colleague sharing. And I think if those are your ethics, that you are treating people with respect, they're at different levels, but if you've got something you can add. Anyway, I cleared my stock and went back for more. And then before you know where you are, you are actually got a region that you're in charge of and you're getting the best sales out of the sleepy Southwest. We didn't think we'd ever beat the Midlands or London or Manchester or whatever, but we did. And the phone rings, uh, would you like to come and tell your story to our next conference? So I said, I have to look at my diary because I am married with two small children, have to juggle it. Mark, I cannot explain what it was like to fly into Geneva, be put up in a bedroom with marble everywhere, overlooking the lake, knowing that you were going to speak the next morning, just to tell your story of how you and your colleagues had built it. I've never heard so much noise in my life. 700 people eating breakfast. <laughs> I had no idea that was the scale. These were global distributors coming to hear what you had to say. And you got the shakes a little bit because this isn't talking to your mates, is it? It's a whole different ball game. However, one of the guys, and I think this is where we're so fortunate, Mark, you are getting, I look at your guest list, what you're offering your people as the best out there. It's just amazing to have that, that reservoir of knowledge and people willing to share. This particular person came up, could see the nerve setting in, said, you look good, go tell your story, but don't ever pretend to be anybody that you're not. And when I got up there, he said, I'll be at the back of the room. I'll wave. Um, if I give you the thumbs up, I can hear you. Have you heard of the lighthouse effect? It does sound familiar, actually. Tell us all what, what it is, Christine. Well, he, he said one way of dissipating your nerves is to keep your feet moving, but not to jitter. So he said, if you put your weight and you start to look at the right, and then shift your weight as you go across and shine your light out into the audience till you get to the left. You can't see them. Perhaps you don't want to see them. But the main thing is they believe you're connecting with them. And it's that weight shift and just that gentle movement called the lighthouse effects. I got through it, got a standing ovation, and I got the bug. And I thought, this is what I really enjoy doing. So that's always been the deep end. So a lot of people that you're on your learning curve, you can jump in. What can you do? You either sink or you drown or you swim. But <laughs> uh, we've proved that if you hang on in there long enough, things actually work. So thanks for your patience, Mark.
You're so welcome, Christine. You're so, you've got such a kind heart and you've given us some great little tips there with the lighthouse effect and a little bit of your story. So that's really great, Christine. So my next question for you is, can you tell us how you help organisations going through change? Well, I've been very fortunate because I went through a very orthodox period where I did what I was told to do. But after this exposure to this world outside and people said, what a dreamer you are, because I'd only ever meant to earn pocket money. And suddenly you were earning big bucks. So, you know, that that sort of ability. There's a wonderful quote that says, always leave a space in your heart for the unimaginable. <laughs> and don't lose. You did it. Look what you've done. You know, it's, it's fantastic, Mark. Anyway, the, the key thing was that I went in um, to corporate life through default, again, being a dreamer. I believed I could help a, com a company increase sales, went and knocked on the door of the marketing director. I didn't know they were already doing 24 million. <laughs> so did, they, did they actually need me with this zany I woman? I to make 50. <laughs> <laughs> we took it to 45. You see, to me, Mark... It's only zeros. Think where you put the decimal point. But at the end of the day, if you get your basics right, you're only talking to human beings. They're going through change. I was uh, sitting outside before I went to speak once, and there were all these senior guys having a mutter and a grumble because they had the world to run. And, you know, and he said, whose silly idea is this anyway? And when you think about it, change, whose silly idea is it anyway? So I help organizations to put their energy where they get a return. Because moaning and groaning is negative and it zaps your own battery. So looking ahead, okay, can I control the situation? And what we we're looking at is the things that shut up moaning because you've just got to get on and make it happen. No matter where you are, you have to turn it from a noun of a name into a verb, an action verb. How are you going to do that? Get those things and manage them. Look at where you can collaborate. Who's out there? Look at what we're doing. And where are you totally empowered? So the difference is a lot of companies in change, unfortunately, looking return on investment. You've heard of ROI, Mark? You know, yes. you're getting beaten sure. up and cutting and all the rest of it. And they invest in systems. I'm not going to mention it you know what I mean. Right? <laughs> so you've got good people being totally messed up because the systems don't, they're not robust enough to support. Now, because I went through new product, supply chain, learning and development and HR, I have a comprehensive knowledge. That's my street cred. So when people ask me a question, I can bring up from my own experience of currently working within businesses tools, tips, and techniques. So they go away with something at the end of it, really. That's really what, what I'm all about. But there are some very frightened people out there. And what happens when we go into survival mode, we, we actually start to shut down. And you don't progress when you've gone into protective mode. You've got to take that risk. You don't grow unless you take risks. And why I really appreciate you talking me to me, because I'm taking risks now by totally rethinking my business. So I'm not at the pinnacle. Uh, I'm going back and thinking, come on, Marsh, reinvent yourself. So this continuous evolution um, probably is what I'm talking about. Don't get static. Don't get stale. Life's for living. So what I'm taking away from that is about collaboration. Yes. Also, I'm, you know me, I'm very positive, so I'm not big on negativity, which I also think is a great takeaway from you. Yes. And also stepping out of your comfort zone is where the magic happens is a big point as well, Christine. So some great tips there. No, you did Can touch I... on it. Go on, just... you speak. No, I, sorry, because I, we went from return on investment. Can you get to think of ROE? Because the return on investment is your processes. And a lot of companies are bringing in new systems. They don't particularly want to, but they're being forced to implement it. And their learning goes back to zero and they hate it. 
you know, they like to be ahead of the game and suddenly they're vulnerable. So there is a wonderful quote from a, a psychologist, clinical psychologist, who says, and I'd like people to think about this, is that fundamental to human contentment is feeling effective. It's actually feeling I've made a difference. I've actually been effective. So for me, I do ROI because I have to know how the businesses work, but I work with the people and that is ROE, which is return on their enthusiasm, their effort and their energy. And that's what humans bring that robots can't. I love that, Christine. I like the that it's about the people and making a difference rather just yeah. about making money. I really like that too. So that's great. So you did touch on it a little bit. You're going through a rebrand at the moment. So yes. can you tell us a little bit about how you're relaunching yourself and the new Christine Marsh, what we're about to see? Well, I've been in business since 1990, Mark. So I've been rampaging all around the world, um, basically looking at performance improvement. I have three letters after my name, CPT, and they're certified technical, no, certified performance technologist. What it's basically saying, I have to know what is needed. I have to do the interventions. Sometimes those are workshops. Sometimes they're one-to-one -one focus sessions. And sometimes it's speaking to get the message out there. I've been fortunate. I've spoken all around the world. And coming across different cultures, you could be in Brazil, you could be in Cape Town, you could be in New Delhi, you can be in Kuala Lumpur. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of same or similar human traits and how do you manage the differences really is the fascination for me on that particular level there. So I've had prime objectives, which I've been known as, and that's really the consultancy, the, the troubleshooting side. I think Christine Marsh speaks. I want to speak from the heart. And I want to get that story out there instead of talking maybe to what I'm over um, in the continent. I'll have 24 in the group. I should be speaking to more people than that. Uh, I've never had a website. So really, I've got to get my act together because who the hell is Christine Marsh? <laughs> a lot of people don't know. <laughs> so really, it's very exciting, Mark. I think what you're doing with your coaching, what you've achieved in your time frame, come on. You know, you've just taken it and you've jumped. You've taken a running jump. I think you believe the angels will catch your feet when you step out into the chasm. And they have done. I just, similar to you, I believe in just following your passion, following your purpose. Yeah. And I think as long as it's coming from a good place and you yeah. are wanting to help people, you'll do well in life. So similar values to you, Christine. So I really wish you luck with your relaunch and I shall look forward to seeing your new website. Uh, and are you having a new show reel as well, Christine? Well, you see, I've collected footage of uh, me speaking in Siberia. You know, I've got it in Kuwait all over the place, uh, but nobody knows it's there. And I think what, what listening to the gurus that you've been having on and their journey, because nobody's claiming that they never had to wear nappies. Sorry, but, you know, we've had to go through some pretty basic things in life. They've all said that you, you keep going, you keep trying. Um, but I've got so much data. I've got four, four mini show reels, one on the focus sessions, one on the workshops, one on my speaking and the fourth one is Christine Marsh, the medicine woman. That's my spiritual side that I don't normally share. Well, that's the side I'd like to know more of, Christine. But <laughs> I'd love to see you show real. So feel okay. free to share any links below in the comments. Everyone right. watching, if you could show Christine some hearts to show that you're grateful of what she's saying, feel free to share the broadcast. And Christine, my next question today is what are you working on right now? What's new for Christine? Um, I think really uh, I want to build this formulas for success. Can, can you make a note of this, Mark? Because it's M times X equals P. And 
people who are motivational speaker, we have to accept that motivation is not a constant state. If you swing high, you fall low. That, that's the energy burst. And it's a dark place when you fall low. The resilience to get back out of there. So if you mark yourself out of 10 of your motivation of what you're doing, Mark, clock that figure. Multiply it by the skills that you think you have. So it's M for motivation times S for skills. So, for example, if I'm motivated eight, my skills are two, I've got 16% of my performance. Now, if I can put my motivation up by two and my skills by one by listening to your uh, broadcasts and picking the brains of the people who are prepared to say, come in and take what you can from me. I work with a company. We went from 15 million to 24 million just on that formula for success. So watch where your motivation is. Watch where other people's motivation is, like whose bright idea was this stupid woman coming to talk to us anyway. Performance is my background. I work within corporate organizations. I usually work with CEOs and senior management because if they don't get it right, the next layer can't. And I love getting down to the guys and girls who actually do the work and apply the dreams that your strategy direction should take you in. So really, it's building practical, helpful things for people to use. Somebody's just said I, it's a treasure trove of tips, tools, and techniques. I've got to get it out there. Well, I just love your energy, Christine, and I really would like to know more in detail at some point about the spiritual side, because like you, I'm very spiritual too, but obviously in your business side, it's very businessy, so it's good to keep them separate, I suppose, as well. No, I think so, what's happening, Mark, is pe people now are much more receptive, you know, and I think as the robots take over, we are left with human beings and we all have souls. Yes, and I do think spirituality is becoming more out there now, isn't it? More people are talking about it, more people are opening up to it. So I do think it is a great thing to be involved in and to be part of. I, I love spirituality, but I would like to hear some of those stories soon. So, okay. Christine, how can people can connect with you? At the moment, LinkedIn, it's, it's an appalling, uh, I've got uh, no words to express. It's like a tatty CV. So that's going to have a major overhaul. Um, still debating whether I need a website. People say you do, people say you don't. But most of my contacts are on LinkedIn, Twitter. Have a look at Instagram um, because there's some 60 second gems there. And I've also got a YouTube, Christy Mar Speaks. And I give you t 20 tips on change, how it's communicated, so it results in collaboration, not confrontation, and creativity. So go see my 60 second 20 gems. Well, Christine, I'm big on collaboration. I I'm, I'm really love your ethics and your values. I've really enjoyed interviewing you today. Anyone watching, please connect with Christine. She's got such a nice heart. She's doing amazing things. Follow her, connect with her. And we all look forward to seeing the new, improved, revamped Christine Marsh. <laughs> Thank you for being my guest today, Christine. Oh, I love it. And I'm looking forward to the aligned speakers you've got because they are absolutely fantastic. They're at the pinnacle of their success and they're prepared to share. So, you know, you really have got such a following. And Mark, what about your plug of where you're speaking next? I am speaking next at the Women's Economic Forum, WEF, um, and that's in Birmingham next Wednesday and Thursday. I'm super, super excited about it. And I'm talking about two different subjects. So I've developed two new speeches and I'm ready to go and deliver, share my heart and be like you, Christine, real, be myself and really mm. give value to the audience. And I'm really excited for speaking for such a great organisation. So dreams really do come true because I've wanted to speak at a conference for absolutely ages, Christine. So thank you for asking me about that. I really do appreciate it.
No, I'm in Gdansk in Poland, sorting the world out there, Mark, but I'm sure you will make such an impact. You're going places. Watch this man and the space he's creating because it's beautiful. You take care, my dear, and thank you so much. You take care. Thanks for being my guest today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for Christine, and I'll see you all soon.